Okay, who knew by pink? Let's listen to the intro. So we got that intro part right, so it's gonna go. Um... Okay, so we're on the A note on the seventh fret of the D string, right? And we're playing the sixth fret of the G string. Just those two strings. And then put, play the, uh, what is that, ninth fret on the G string, right? So they're just adding that and taking it off. Okay, then we're gonna go. So after we do that, this part, we're gonna play ninth fret on the D and seventh on the G. gonna play a F sharp which is I'm just gonna bar chord so 9th fret on the A and 11th on the D and G and then move that up to E right so if you put that together you got So kick on your distortion or whatever, and we're just going to play D, E, F sharp, and A, right? So, you know, we're just starting out playing a D chord, so 5th fret on the A, 7 D, G, and move that up to the E, E note, right? D and G on the ninth. F sharp you can play, I'm going to play up here, bar chord the 2nd fret, F sharp on the bottom E, 4th fret on the D and G, and then A, right? And the way I usually do it is I play it that way in those positions for the first couple bars, first go passes, and then uh, then I play, I come down the neck more, so then I play the same D, E, and I play the F sharp here, and then the A down here, right? But you can mix it up, play it wherever. I think that's it for the whole song.
So that's it, kind of like the uh, bridge or whatever. It's just the same as the verse. You know what I mean? It's the exact same. So mm -hmm. it's just those two parts for the whole tune. So it's a good one to work on keeping your other strings quiet because you're just playing a couple strings. Mm -hmm. And it's a good one to work on, you know, your bar chords in different positions and going, having like a little quieter verse and a more roaring uh, chorus. So anyway, it's a fun one to play.